Authorities in Chile say at least 51 people have been killed and dozens more have been reported missing in the deadliest wildfires on record. A state of emergency has been declared in the Valparaiso region. Thousands of homes have been destroyed and residents have been told to leave their homes in the city of Vina del Mar. The fires have been fuelled by higher than usual temperatures and strong winds. Well, Professor Mark Howden is the director for the Institute for Climate, Energy and Disaster Solutions at the Australian National University. He gave us his analysis of what factors caused the wildfires. I think uh, that this is largely a climate change driven thing. Uh, when we look at what's happening in terms of sea surface temperatures, that's not, I think, the driver in that particular case of those fires. But when we look at the long term uh, climate change impacts, we're seeing a significant drying out of that central part of Chile. Uh, and that's actually uh, alleviating, you know, re resulting in these very significant fire dangers. There's been very significant fires over there uh, over the last several years. And what sort of factors do, do you think are, are important here? Well, particularly drying out. Uh, so Chile, along with Australia and South Africa and things like uh, Mediterranean as well, uh, we've seen substantial drying out uh, due to climate change. And that's as the uh, mid-latitude pressure system strengthen is the climatological reason. And, uh, and that's really reduced the amount of water in their dams and rivers. Uh, the heating has resulted in increased melting of their snow cap, their glaciers, which provide water during the dry season. And we've seen increases in temperature which dry out the fuel and increase the likelihood of a small fire becoming a very big and dangerous fire. And how much have we, people have talked in the past about El Nino and those kind of things being a factor? Do you think, is that is that a play here? No, probably not El Nino in this case. So what we're seeing is El Nino is very much uh, um, declining at the moment. So it's becoming much less strong. And, uh, and we're seeing that influence over uh, El Nino through South America actually declining since late last year. So I suspect that's not the driver in this case. And in terms of mitigation, what are the best uh, options for them? Well, if it's climate change, the first thing we need to do is reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, our emissions last year were the highest on record. Uh, they keep on going up. We need to turn that round very quickly. Uh, if we're looking at more local solutions, uh, clearly we need to put in place more effective fire warning systems, rapid response systems, uh, and get people out of harm's way very quickly and stop putting people in harm's way by putting, say, buildings in forest-prone, fire-prone areas.